in today's tutorial we're going to create some motion graphic accents in HitFilm Express so uh, let's take a look at this example yeah so basically so uh, you can use these accents in your animation so for example you have some kind of a logo that you're working on you can add these uh, and you know make your logo or make your animation uh, look a bit more professional yeah so to create this we can start off by creating a new composition I'm gonna use 1080p at 30 frames per second then click on start composting and then uh, we will uh, rename this to lines because that's what we are going to create line animation so we are going to start off by creating a new plane layer and uh, let's call this background and let's use this color right here as the background and uh, then we can use an effect called 1080p dial save by effect and that will just help us to line things in the center let's create a new layer let's call this plane and call this line and i'm going to change its color to this one right here maybe let's go with this one click on ok i'm going to hide this layer i'm going to use the rectangular mask tool and i'm just going to move right in the center like right about there then i'm going to click and hold and create a line or mask that will look something like this okay and then we can just enable that or unhide it so once you do that uh, you can just select your mask and then you just select your section tool and if you zoom in again you can see that this right here is our anchor point and we can hold the shift key on a keyboard and just click on this anchor point and we can just bring it right at this point now we can just animate it so if I just set this to around 200 and we can create the anchor point keyframe position keyframe and scale keyframe you do this at the first frame of your video move 10 or 20 frames forward we are then going to unlink the scale set the scale to 0 and we can just copy and paste the position and the anchor point keyframe Let's move forward 20 frames for uh, 20 frames and then we here we want to actually this should be zero and the second one should be 100 so now our we have this kind of animation the line is growing and then we can just move 20 frames forward and now we want our anchor point to be at the top so just simply hold the shift key on the keyboard and move this anchor point to the top right about I do it there you can just zoom in and just place it perfectly now we can just set the scale to zero so now our line will grow from bottom to top like that so as you can see we have this weird animation as well in our in this so we can just simply fix that by selecting just these two keyframes and converting them to constant keyframes so now uh, it should look good so if you still see some movement that's probably because your anchor point is not um, properly placed just make sure you do that correctly so we have this this animation and now we can just create copies of it so one way of doing it is by duplicating it and just simply will transform and we can just simply rotate it like about 180 like so and if we zoom in uh, you can see that they are not quite in the center so we can set this to negative one maybe yeah that should be fine so that's how you can duplicate it and you can just select these two layers make a composite shot call this lines okay if you go back we duplicate it again and this time we set this the rotation to 90 uh, something like that and now we have something like that okay looks great
great uh, other thing that you can do is you can if uh, let's just see so we have these two lines let's hide the top most layer and I can select it and I can apply an effect called reflection on this and then I can simply expand the reflection and set the center I can like change the uh, gap in between these two lines so that they look uh, you know they don't look like a one a single line so yeah that can also work so but I'm just going to leave it as it is so let's just remove the reflection from it okay so uh, can add some bit more space right here let's just try to fix that maybe we can I just have to do it right over here let's just select this layer and move it down and that should that should work and maybe this one we can just move it right over here try to you know position it properly okay so we have something like that that is looking fine we can get rid of this background there it's just for the 1080p title effect okay so we have that kind of animation and we can just you know make another composite shot of these and scale it up as well so let's just uh, close these and let's create a new composite shot and we're gonna call this we're gonna call this um shape shape explosion click on okay i'm gonna start off by bringing this layer in and let's just rename this to shape i'm gonna create our first shape which is going to be square so let's just create that something like that just simply duplicate the mask and on the second mask we set its mode to subtract and if you go to mask uh, we go to shape and we have the expansion so let's just create a keyframe for that and let's just go to negative 117 let's move forward 20 frames set this back to zero let's see we have this shape explosion kind of effect and you can even animate it as well by animating the position uh, you can move it around you can go to scale a rotation as well and you can just do that and do something like that um, do some crazy stuff with this so so we have something like that and we can even create the opacity keyframe so that it doesn't you know disappear suddenly so maybe right at this point you can see we're going to create keyframe and we move back set this to z Oh well this should be 100 and this one should be 0 so it slowly fades out like that okay so that is looking good I'm gonna reset this to reset it like that okay so far so good and then we can just duplicate this one and I'm gonna remove the bottom mask and on this one I'm going to select the freehand mask tool and I'm going to grab this point and move it in the center like that and I'm going to grab this point and move it in the center <laughs> you can create custom shape as well so it's just up to you and once you do that you can just duplicate the mask well, I can't, sh can't see anything it's oh, wait, wait, wait a minute wait a minute yeah, there we go so it's the mask right here and then we can duplicate it we're gonna set it the learning mode subtract mask shape and we are going to set this to around 73 create a keyframe move forward 10 or 20 frames and set this to zero and there we have another shape there and I want, I want this one to be on on the right just 
Let's see these two together. Oh, there we go. Okay. One after the other. And then we have the another. We have we can create another shape. And uh, for this, I'll just use the ellipse tool and create an ellipse like that. Duplicate it again and set this to subtract shape expansion. Create a keyframe for that. And I'll just move 20 frames forward, set this to zero. So we have something like that. And then we can move it right here and change its position. And move it right over here. Okay, so something like that. Then we are done with our shape. We can create new composite chart and this will be our wavy lines. Goggles wave and for this we will actually use go to the lines composite chart and we have this line right here. We can just copy it. Okay, we can just copy it and paste it in this composite chart. So now all we actually have to do is we just have to oh it's it's so tiny. So let's just try to scale this up. Let's see. Try to use the transform, scale it up, but we are going to lose uh, the quality as well. But uh, let's just leave it like that and we can go to effects and search for the wave effect and apply it on this layer and then we can play around with the angle set that to maybe around six and then phase angle as well um, we can play around with that we have the amplitude and then we also have the frequency let's see Don't want the phase speed, we just want the something like that. Then we can, if you want it to go from you know top to bottom, you can just leave it as it is. But I just want to set this to 90. Okay, then we can just create copies of this, move them around and stagger them a bit. So that is it. So we can just finally create our main animation and we can just bring all these composite shots into this. So we have something like that. I can see that this line layer is uh, it's really small. Uh, yeah, it's really small. So let's let's see. Anyway, so um, can just uh, delete this one, enable this one. Yeah. So I can actually scale this up. Let's see if we can do that. And you can obviously change colors right here as well. But um, that's pretty much it. That's how we can create these uh, accent explosions. Uh, I hope you learn something new. We can uh, just play around with this. So yeah, let's just conclude this tutorial. I hope you liked this tutorial. If it was helpful, please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.